I sure hope you've heard Morgan Wade's song Wilder Days on the radio. You said you hate the smell of cigarette smoke. You only used to smoke when you drank. Man, that song is a jam, and it kind of tells her story. Kind of doesn't, but it allowed us to ask her about her Wilder Days. And this girl was some trouble, maybe too much trouble. I was a sloppy drunk. That's what I was. Hey, it's Evan Paul, and Morgan visited us a while back to tell her story. And I can't lie, she, she's kind of my people. I think you'll like her too, especially if you're a fan of like uh, like Miranda Lambert, who actually just followed Morgan Wade on social media. Yeah, I saw that. I just started, I screamed a little bit, and my boyfriend was on the, the treadmill, and he was like, what? What happened? I was like, Miranda Lambert followed me. He just kind of stared at me for a minute. Like, I thought you were dying. <laughs> But this video promised the story of her new song, so here we go. Hit the subscribe button for a steady stream of song secrets and artist interviews. We put some of our favorites at the link in the corner. And then give this video a thumbs up if you're loving Wilder Days. In Chicago, the Windy Cities are is does that is there a reason why? Uh, yeah, I mean it was just kind of the 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 scene there, the song, knowing somebody when they they live back in Chicago. Is there someone back in Chicago? Like no. Okay. <laughs> like is someone hearing it going like ah? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Morgan says the song was based partially on personal experience. I think we all kind of have that person that we're like, man, like right person wrong time i would have known you mm -hmm. at a different time maybe this would have really worked out we would have made a mess or something yeah it would have been, been a good time i try i try to like not have that because i don't want to get in that headspace i could get there quick i could see that yeah yeah okay. right <laughs> So here's a real story about Morgan Wade. She's 27 and will be five years sober this year. It's something that uh, she's real honest about. I love that. In fact, she has a song called The Nights that talks about her struggle to stay sober. During this interview, she opened a bit about those wilder days. I was a sloppy drunk. That's what I was. Yeah, I, I didn't really start drinking until like my freshman year of college. It's like, you know, I went away to college and everybody else was drinking and so you just kind of start and I was like man I like this and uh yeah it just quickly became something I could really throw them back and uh kind of just lost lost sight of everything else and especially you know you start playing music and you might not get paid but you can get a bar tab mm -hmm. and so it's like all right I'm gonna make the most of that and uh also I had really big guys in my band and they could all throw them back so here I am 100 pounds, like, <laughs> throwing yeah. it back with them. And, uh, yeah, it was just something I had to do. I wouldn't be sitting here right now if I didn't get sober. Find Wilder Days on the deluxe version of Morgan Wade's Reckless album released this year. The album got all kinds of critical acclaim, and her debut single has, like, uh, like I think it was, like, 50 million streams on Spotify to date. Look for Morgan on the Road with Chris Stapleton beginning in August and let her know you appreciate what she brings to country music with a comment below. It's hard for a new artist. Let's help them out. We got to make sure they feel the love. I'm Evan Paul for Taste of Country and thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.